Yeah, welcome back. Where the heck did I start it? Oh, okay. I got it. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome back to Dex Quest uh, Gen 2. Uh, why? Last episode, we got the fishing rods. Let's start off with that. Uh, if you uh, use a fishing rod off of Route 40, uh, you can get the Chrysla. And then up on Route 39, it's either 39 or 38, you can find the Tauros. Which we need to uh, complete our Kanto Pokedex. So, uh, anyway, uh, finishing off last episode, we left Akutik City after helping out the Komodo Girl, journeyed through 38 and 39, make it to Olivine City, uh, and found out we can't take on the gym leader until we help out the sick Amphros, who needs the medicine that's at the pharmacy in Sionwood City. So, our goal today is to get through Route 40 and 41. Make it to Sionwood, get the medicine, take on the gym. Uh, after the gym, go back to Olive Vine City. Uh, give them the medicine and take on the 6th gym. I always want to call her the 7th gym, but then I remember... The seventh gym is the ice gym with a uh, price. So, uh, anyway, uh, moving on. If we had any electric type Pokemon or grass types, this uh, should be a blast or a breeze. So, the goal of this episode, like I said, is all those, but we need to get our Pokedex for Gen 2 up. Uh, I think we're on episode anywhere between 7 and 10, and we're only, uh, three-tenths of the way completed. I know some of them can't be attained until we get to Kanto, but we really need to update our, uh, Pokedex. So, uh, anyway. Ooh. Meganium, which is just pure grass, versus a tentacle. The water aspect, we have the advantage, but the poison type, we don't. Hey, and we finally got Goldbat to evolve into, uh, Crobat. Which I have to say, I love his design. Though I don't like his happiness uh, for, uh, factor. Like, you can make it learn, like, make it evolve with a poison type move. I don't know, cross poison or something like that. Like, uh, all a Gen 4 Pokemon did. With uh, Ancient Power and Double Hit, Roll Out, and all those moves. But why does it have to be friendship? Anyway, ooh, that tentacle almost took out Flaffy. Which, uh, falls at level 30, so he still has a little way to go. Uh, making sure I have my spreadsheet open. So, uh, I'm hoping to get uh, Cinequil to, or no, Quilava to evolve into Typhorosion sometime this episode. But since it's mainly going to be a water type gym, or not gym, a route, this may not actually help. But anyway, as you can see, we are taking on a Mantine, which uh, is a Gen 2 Pokemon, which is f water and flying. Times for a week to electric type moves. But unfortunately, we need to catch it. So we can't faint it. 
because I think it has a low encounter rate. And Eevee's taking on this Goldeen while uh, Chicory the Line is in Sainwood Town. Sainwood. Sainwood, Sainwood. Depends on how you pronounce it. Also, while we're here, we need to pick up the Messin, and there is a gift Pokemon we can catch. Um, not sure who catch it, gets it though. Oh, here we go. After my Pokemon for a while, sure. I <laughs> wish we uh, plan on never giving it back. So, Toadow finally made it to Cyan Wood, and we are having trouble catching this Mantine. Come on, a couple more Pokeballs. And over in Chikorita's line, we are getting the Shuckle. Like how it just says a Pokemon. It doesn't even give you like any indication of what it is. But uh yeah, we're not using Shuckle in our party, so go ahead and add it to that. And we have met up with Suicune again. After the burnt tower. Or burn tower. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't that just Suicune? I only caught a great glimpse of it, and I think I saw him. It's beautiful and grand, it races through towns and cities. Up close, I've decided I'll bow you as a trainer. Come on, Zeg, let's battle. In the anime, didn't he have a Hypno? No, a uh, Alakazam or a Hypno? Because it was trying to make it learn mean look so it wouldn't escape. I think he's psychic types, because he was friends with Monty, who's a ghost type. And we finally caught the Mantine. Ooh, Electrode. I better get Eevee out of there. Because if it has Explosion, it's not going to be pretty. It took it- oh, because it's a flying type. I was about to say, it took out, uh, Lady in very easily. If I'm not careful, it's going to take out Fialligator very quickly. But even though Thunder has a uh, high attack power, it's uh, very low in accuracy, so... What I switched? Oh, I switched to Eevee. I thought I switched it for it. He's not use Curse, which I'm not use Shadow Ball. Should be super effective. Yep. Oh, and in a couple seconds, um, Toadile line will, or Cinequil line will start moving again. Uh, this was supposed to be two episodes, but I. Squished it down into one. Tokapi is finally evolving into Tokachik. Togetit. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. All I know is Tokapi and Tokachikis. Two of the Pokemon that uh, you actually have to remember. So anyway, uh, this would conclude episode one. So, we have now episode 2. Alright, I'm going to say episode 1 and episode 2. I should say part 1 and part 2. But anyway, uh, we are moving on to the Sinewood Gem. Who is mainly all f uh, fighting types. With the exception of a couple bug and water types. So we should be seeing Machamp, Machokes... I'm pretty sure we don't. Oh, my chops, not my champs. Uh, Himalay, Himochan. I want to say a Tyrogue, maybe. Uh, Heracross will be added somewhere. And I'm thinking a primate. So 
I have the Pidgeot, who evolves sometime. Probably why I was grinding. And we have the Noctowl. And we have the Crobat. So we should have the uh, type advantages, being the uh, flying types. Which will really help in this gym. But if I don't get a fire type for Todile line, I may be kissing this uh, next gym goodbye. Yeah, there's the uh, Hitmochan. Hitmochans, my bad. More than one. Ooh, Fire Punch. Yeah, I'm still trying to switch train slash get the happiness of Eevee up. No, I like the design of this gym. That is all le uh, levels or layers. Just, I wish it had more variety in Pokemon. I mean, every fighting type gym has a uh, the Machamp, Machoke, and Machop lines. Heck, even Bruno, a all rock type Elite Four member has a Machamp. And there's the Primate that we are battling. I didn't realize it, what level it was going to be at. I think him and Jasmine should be around the same level. But... As soon as we beat him, I think we step outside and his wife gives us the team for fly. It's either fly or strength. Ooh, that almost knocked out Knockdown. Uh, focus? Oh, focus punch. Okay. Meganium. Should poison it. Come on, jump off, wake up. Also, don't miss moves. Ooh, it almost knocked out jump pluff. I have the speed, I just don't have the uh accuracy. And Prime has been defeated on Meganium's line. And he just took out my flyer. Mm. This is gonna be a tough gym. He also didn't have any Gen 2 fighters. Unless he has more than two Pokemon. Wait. Isn't Jasmine's gym the one that just hands us the badge? Yep, uh, Santa Quail Line may have a little bit of an issue now. Uh, everyone is on Poliwrath, but right now, Meganium and Jumpluff has the advantage for type. Come on. Cracksire, you can do it. As long as he doesn't land a Focus Punch, I should be fine over there. Uh, jump puff. If I can hit, keep him asleep, and continue using grass type moves. And Meganium line just made it through. Alright, so I just have to worry about the other two Mega Drain. Let's see, Mega Drain, Bullet, or bullet Seed. What are the moves does Jump Pluff have? Oh, Leech Seed. Ooh, that's a lot of HP, or XP. And we're trying to send out Flaffy. 
uh, HM2, so fly. Okay. And he gives us the TM4 Focus Punch. Not one of the moves I will ever use. Unless it's a Pokemon that learns it. Focus Punch and Focus Blast. Not my best moves. Since there's a very high chance of them not landing it. Come on, one more hit. Ooh, he's going for Focus Punch. And I heal, hit him with a Thundershock. And not enough to heal, or uh, level up. So now that we have the HM for Fly for all three in a couple seconds, we are going to fly back to Ol Olivine City. Or is it? Yeah, it's City. And take a, uh, no, drop off the Messin to Amphrey. Amphi. Amphrey? I don't know, she gave us some nickname. And after we do that, we need to take on the next gym. And my voice just cracked. I don't know why. So, moving on. Going up the elevators. He does not have a poison type move. Or does he? Air cutter for fly. Wing attack. And a couple of other moves. Astonguish. Which I believe is a ghost type. And going up the elevator. We are finally giving him the medicine. Yeah, not like we can actually use it as a key item. So, uh... Yeah, we can finally take on the... Steel-type gym. Which is... F which was first introduced in... Gen 2. I'm still waiting for a dark-type gym. Which I... Think there's one in Gen 8. But you have so many opportunities to have a dark type gem. I mean, you introduce a fairy type and you give it a, f a fairy gem. In gen 6. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yep. So all we have to do is go to. Did we talk to her or did we actually have to battle her? Oh, and apparently I brought my Onyx back. Don't know why. Okay, so we do have to battle her. Oh, and we got a call from Boba, which means that the Safari Zone is finally open. Off of Route 48. So... Meganium doesn't have the type advantage against Magnemite. But it, even if it's a first stage Pokemon, it should still be able to knock out. To be knocked out by a Meganium. Dragon Breath on a Magnemite. Yeah, that was not the best choice. Also, why did I bring Onyx? I mean... It's a still type which isn't very effective, so. I don't think he gets a steel type move. Unless somehow he magically makes a Iron Tail. So, as you can see, I was very smart and brought Kalava out first, which uh, should knock out his Steelix. Or Steelix. And. In one more level, it should evolve. Unless that's 36. I can't tell right now. Oh, Lava Plume. Okay, um... 
I'm gonna have a interesting issue with the uh, Toradile's line. Okay, it is 35. Also, I think I was waiting for uh, the Steelix to pop up. No, I didn't even bring uh, Magmar. Hmm. That's a interesting fact. Why did I bring Corsola? Also, when did I... Wow, I'm so confused on that, uh, gym. Anyway, we need to heal up, uh, Quilava's team. And... I don't know how to do this, I pull through. Uh, but Meganium, if that's a steel ground type or steel rock type, Meganium should have a type advantage. Yeah, this Magnemite's gonna knock out majority of my team. And over in Quilava's, we finally get uh, Team 4, or no, HM4, which is the strength. And he is moving on to Mahogany Town, which is off of Route 42. While the other two are still having issues. Oh, uh, Hyper Potion. Yeah. I don't think there's any other fire type before this poke, uh, gym. So, besides Magmar, I think I could go get an Eevee or a Firestone, I think. And we just met it with Suicune again on Route 42 over in. Uh. Cinequil's line. Yeah, this uh, Stilix is going to knock out my Eevee with one Iron Tail. Come on, knocked out. Yeah, I fainted. Okay, uh, we are using the headbutt technique over here in Route 42. Uh, there's a certain Pokemon that you need headbutt for. Um, either I grinded, or I'm just gonna go half butt into it. Wait, did he learn rock? Learned rock smash at the first time. Because why is this super effective? Still electric and it's a fighting type move. Makes a little sense, but I don't know why. Anyway, uh, do 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 do. Chikorita's line finally got past the sixth gym, and this Heracross is the Pokemon we are looking for with the headbutt technique. Did I honestly take out that Steelix? Well, I looked over for one second. I'm pretty sure I used Surf, so. Um. Oh, because I need the Spin Rack to evolve that I got on Route 40. Nope, 30. That I had since Episode 2. Oh, that's messed up. And it already knows Aerial Lease. Uh, if I was a better bug and fighting type trainer, I would put this guy on my team. But anyway, uh, throw a couple balls, hoping to catch it. And because of Rocky, 
we finally defeated Jasmine. So, which means both Cinequ no, Chikorita and Totodile's line can go to Ekriti, go off of Route 42, and go to Mahogany Town. And this Heracross is killing my team. And, and the number of Pokeballs I'm using. Shadow Claw. Ooh. I don't think I've ever used that move. Alright, moving this way. Okay, it's paralyzed in the red, so it should be easier to catch. Come on. Stop breaking out of all the balls. Um, why am I going back to Ekertik City? To heal up? No, I think I'm trying to go through the cave instead of us. Uh, instead of surfing. Anyway, we picked up the super potion. And I think we've caught the hair across. If not, we know where hair cross is. Oh boy, sorry I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Please don't cry. Here, take this. Ooh, a sea kink. Like it's designed a lot better than Goldings. But anyway, uh I guess we're surfing across. Then why did I switch to for it? Alright, by the end of this episode, I want this core lava to evolve. Because he's the last starter I need. And we met up with the sweet coon again. Which he'll just push us out of the way. And Eugene. I think that's his name. I was trying to hope for a double battle here, but apparently this uh, mountain climber didn't want to do it. So I think Spinarak evolves soon. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, let's see, Gen 2. Uh, 22, actually. So it's close to evolving. Just like, uh, Korlava. Talk to this fisher fisherman. So, I'm going to have the same disadvantage as I did in Jasmine's gym in the next gym. Unless I can get a fire type. But hopefully, what's coming up? I know there's the Lake Rage is still coming up. Uh, we're up 43. Don't think there's any fire types up there. But if I have some ground type moves, that should work. And. Don't know if there's any good dark type moves I can make Umbreon learn. No Shadow Ball. And our, like I said, our Core Lava is finally evolving. So we now have Meganium, Fialigator, and Typhlosion. Surprised I didn't make a. Uh, a uh, Spinarak evolve. Oh well. Forget Tail Whip and learn Bite. Okay, Bite is a good Dark type move, so I can't knock that one out. 
uh, focus energy. So, uh, at, while we're here in ma mahogany, I could not think of the word, even though I'm looking at the map right now. Mahogany Town. Uh, Chikorita and Cinecrill are going to be paused right here until Togedile gets there. But these mountain people only have ground and rock type with a couple flying and also fighting. So if the alligator should have the advantage. Let's see, Jew dude. Yep, water type. I like how he still has tackle. Or does he? Did I see that right? Oh, Slash. Okay, he has a normal type move. I don't think I'll ever use Slash. So I think I get rid of it for like superpower whenever he learns it. So, we are here at Mahogany Town. Heal up our Pokemon. And after we heal up, we're going to call it an episode. So I'll see you guys later.